Good afternoon, basketball fans, and welcome to the Auxiliary Gymnasium here at Hicksville Schools as we are getting ready for junior high girls basketball action on this Monday afternoon, a Monday after Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday for some. And uh, it is a girls basketball action, 7th and 8th grade uh, on tap here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel with the Lady Aces hosting the Lady Bulldogs of Defiance on this Monday afternoon. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. With me, Brian Williams, operating the iPad Pro camera this afternoon as uh, we're going to be here for both the 7th and the 8th grade games, which means two live streams. This one, uh, when this game wraps up with the 7th graders, we'll take probably about a 10-minute break, and then we'll be back with game two to bring you the 8th grade action this afternoon as well. Glad to have you with us again. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday weekend and that uh, you enjoyed time with family and friends. Got your fill to eat. Plenty of good leftovers. Got maybe some early Christmas shopping in on the big Black Friday and Small Business Saturday shopping events and uh, well, Cyber Monday today too, whatever the case may be. But hope you had a terrific weekend and that you're ready to settle in now for the stretch run towards Christmas and the end of the year holidays. Here at the Auxiliary Gymnasium, the seventh grade girls all be coming up first. And uh, we always uh, want to begin with the, well, before we get to the, the rosters, though, let me take some time here. First off, to thank our underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicks TV this afternoon. They include our platinum level underwriting supporter, and that's Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, and online at www.arcsolinc.com. Our three diamond level underwriting supporters are the Jim Schmidt family of under of uh, uh, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Man, I'm getting tongue-tied this early. That's not a good sign. Thanks also to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, located in Hicksville's Industrial Park, and online at aptmfg.com slash careers, and the Hicksville Pharmacy, your good neighbor pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. We also want to thank our Gold Level Underwriting supporter. That's Subway of Hicksville, where you can eat fresh, and refresh. Alan and the gang say go Lady Aces and they are proud sponsors of the Subway Player of the Game. The award that we give out at the end of each varsity basketball contest we cover here on Hicksville Community Television. So thanks to all of them and we'll be mentioning them and thanking them more as we move through this live stream on this Monday. So let's take a look at who's going to be playing here tonight. Uh, again we have the seventh graders up first and we'll uh, just uh what we do for the seventh grade, we just run down the roster in its entirety uh, because uh, we don't get the uh, you know the starting five in advance or anything like that. So for the Lady Bulldogs of Defiance, here we go. Number thirteen is Avon Eva Mansira. Number fifteen is worn by Haley Schnipke. Number twenty-one is Addison Roth. Number twenty-three is Mackenzie Reyes. Number twenty-five, Addison Miller. Number thirty-three is Amia Crawford. Number 35 is Sophia Merillat. Macy Black wears number 41. Number 43 is Aaron Waltz. And number 45 is Jasmine Lawton. That's their roster. And, of course, we'll uh, identify them as we move through the afternoon. And for Hicksville, again, they have a, a small squad for their seventh graders. Uh, number 11 for the Lady Aces is Sophie Fries. Number 14 is Vrenis Avalos. Number 22 Jocelyn Baldwin. Number 32 is Gabrielle Neal. Number 42 is Abigail Hansen. And number 45 is Devaney Mull. And when we were here earlier, when we uh, did the uh, very first of our live streams uh, covering the junior high girls, Devaney had herself won whale of a basketball game. So we'll see how things go for this game here tonight. We do want to thank you once again for uh, joining us as the final seconds Tick off. There we go. And here in the auxiliary gym, we're a lot closer to the buzzer, and it echoes a lot more. <laughs> so they'll clear the floor, and we'll get ready to bring out the starting five. Our officials are all set and ready to go. And we will be getting this seventh grade game underway shortly here on Hicksville Community Television. Again, glad to have you with us. 
Coming out for the Lady Bulldogs. Looks like number 15, Haley Schnipke, number 25, Addison Miller, number 33, Amia Crawford. Hanson Mull out there along with Fries and Baldwin for the Lady Aces, and we'll get ready to tip it off. Tip controlled by Hicksville. Baldwin wastes no time, goes straight to the hoop, puts it up off glass, and no good. Rebound comes down to the Lady Bulldogs, and Schnipke will bring it up the floor. Avalos guarding her. Bounce pass. Feed. Shot up, off glass, no good. Baldwin grabs the board for Hicksville. Jocelyn will take it back up court, across the timeline, top of the key, looking things over. She'll drive into the paint, puts up the hook shot baseline, no good. Rebound and recovered on the baseline by Baldwin. She'll get it out to Avalos. Avalos around the horn, looks for some help, gets it out to Mull. Mull takes a shot from the corner off the iron and no good. Baldwin goes for the put back, it's blocked, blocked again. She'll move it back to Fries. Fries puts up a shot, no good. Now Avalos with it. She's trying to get it away, and it gets stripped from her. Quickly down the floor come the Lady Bulldogs. Shot up, off iron, no good. And Fries grabs the rebound for the Lady Aces. So a fast-moving game and lots of shots on goal, but nothing going down the cylinder as of yet. Baldwin. Off the glass and good. It'll be a long two for Jocelyn Baldwin as she breaks the scoring ice and gives the Lady Aces a 2 to nothing lead early on here. 4.34 to go in our opening quarter. Waltz, bounce pass over to Miller. Miller looking for some help, gets it to Roth. Roth will take the shot from three-point land off the back of the iron and no good. And that's saved on the baseline by Mull. She'll launch it down to Baldwin. Baldwin runs to the baseline, up and in. Second bucket now for Jocelyn Baldwin. She accounts for all four of the Lady Aces points. Two minutes here into our first quarter. Six-minute quarters here at the junior high level. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Roth. Roth will work it around to the top of the key. She'll stop on the wing. And she'll do a double dribble. Double dribble, and that'll be a turnover to the Lady Aces. Fries will come over to handle the inbounds, George. Sophie Fries gets it into Baldwin. Baldwin driving, holds up. Bounce pass. Loose on the floor, and Baldwin grabs it again. Baldwin still trying to get something to happen. Taken away and put up in no good, but a whistle and a foul underneath the hoop. Devaney Mould's going to draw the foul there, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. First team foul on the Lady Bulldogs. Clock stopped at 325. Mull's first one's good. Devin, you'll have one more. And she gets them both. That makes it a 6 nothing game. Haley Schnipke across the midcourt stripe for the Lady Bulldogs. Turnaround jumper up off glass and gets the bounce. That was Crawford. Amia Crawford with the bucket to make it a 6-2 game. Baldwin, and that'll be a travel. Or oh, they're going to call it a double dribble either way. Turnover to the Lady Bulldogs. Aaron Waltz. Walls gets the ball in. And she stepped over the line. Started moving before she let go of the ball completely. And so that'll be another turnover. And back to the Lady Aces. 
And down in the same spot, it'll be Fries. Fries to Mull. Mull takes it right to the hoop, up a little too much on it. Rebound comes down to Crawford. She'll get the ball to Schnipke, and Schnipke will bring it across the timeline. Schnipke from three. Off the glass, no good. Rebound comes down to Hansen for the Lady Aces. Hansen will toss it over to Baldwin. He'll come back the other way. Baldwin to Mull. Mull driving in. Ooh. And that's a whistle and a foul. As a couple players hit the deck on that one. That'll be a foul on the floor, common foul, but it'll be against Defiant. So Lady Aces with the basketball on the baseline. Two team fouls now for the Defiance girls. Baldwin looking for some help, gets it to Avalos. Avalos back to Baldwin. Baldwin drives the baseline, hook shot up, no good. Rebound coming down to the Lady Aces. Miller gets the ball to Schnipke. Bounce pass and stolen away by Fries. Fries up to the hoop and she'll be fouled from behind. The foul prevents the easy layup for Fries, but she'll still get the opportunity to score. As she'll go to the line to shoot two. That'll be team foul number three on the Lady Bulldogs. 2.07 to go in our opening quarter. Freeze. Nails it. Makes it 7-2. to two. She'll get one more. Off the front of the iron and no good. So the score will remain 7-2. Ace is up by five. Schnipke guarded by Avalos. Ball loose and Avalos with the steal. Avalos going the other way. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound comes down to Miller. Miller gets it to Schnipke and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Again, Avalos will come out and face off against Schnipke. Out there in no man's land. Schnipke on the wing now. Still being dogged by Avalos. Drive down to the baseline. Nothing there. She kicks it out. To Crawford. Crawford will put it up from the wing, and that's good. Long two pointer for Crawford to make it a seven to four game and cut the Lady Aces lead to three. Baldwin to Mull. Mull's going to drive the baseline and pass it off to Fries. It's loose on the floor, and that's going to be a jump ball. See who the possession arrow favors. I think it's going to be Defiance's ball. It is. 106 to go in our opening quarter. And off the called jump ball. Here come the Lady Bulldogs. Roth on the wing looking things over. Roth puts it down into the corner to Schnipke, who gets it taken away from her by Mull. Mull. Tosses it down to Avalos. Avalos can't get to it, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be back to the Lady Bulldogs. Inbounds, and Haley Schnipke once again will bring the ball up court. Walls, and that's going to be a jump ball as Mole reached in and grabbed it. And that will go to the Lady Aces on the possession arrow. 34.8 seconds to go. Quarter number one. Aces up 7-4 to four with the ball. Baldwin across the timeline. Baldwin quickly drives down the floor. Into a double team looking for some help. Bounce pass to Mull. Mull gets the ball under control. Mull's going to drive the baseline. She'll take the shot and hit it. 9-4 now, and it's back to a five-point lead. And here come the Lady Bulldogs for the last shot of the quarter. It's up. It's going to be short. Walls grabs the rebound. It's going to be another jump ball with 1.7 seconds left in the quarter, and that will go to the Lady Bulldogs. We'll see if they've got enough time. 1.7 seconds for a quick inbound and a shot. 
Looking around, bounce pass in, shot up, and good. Nice shot by Haley Schnipke to make it a 9-6 game at the end of the first quarter. We'll get ready for quarter number two. We'll take some time here to say a big thank you to one of our Diamond Level Underwriting supporters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television this afternoon. And that's APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio, a world-class facility located right here in Hicksville in the Industrial Park where they offer robotic packing and palleting solutions, powder coating, welding, so much more. And they're looking to add to their roster. Maybe you can become a part of the APT Manufacturing family. Just uh, log on to aptmfg.com slash careers for a full listing of all the opportunities that they have available. Many include uh, certification and other uh, training opportunities. Uh, you can uh, fill out an application, upload your resume. They'd love to hear from you. And we love having them as one of our Diamond Level supporters. Our Diamond Level underwriters are ones that underwrite all of our ACES sports coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. So a big thank you once again to APT Manufacturing Solutions of Hicksville, Ohio. Tony Nicewander, the whole gang over there. And online at aptmfg.com slash careers. All right, getting ready for quarter number two. Lady Aces will have the ball. i got to let some of the spectators get by first. Lady Aces will have the ball to start quarter number two. They lead nine to six. Bill Murphy, Brian Williams, the crew here at the Auxiliary Gym on the Hicks TV YouTube channel this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Inbounds to Baldwin, and we're underway. Baldwin down in the corner to Freese and back to Jocelyn. Jocelyn, baseline, hook shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to, that was Crawford grabs the rebound, and there's a whistle. And that's going to be the first foul on the Lady Aces. They're going to tag that one on to Mull. She'll pick up her first personal, team foul number one. And the Lady Bulldogs will get the ball out of bounds on the baseline. They'll get it into Schnipke. Avalos will come out. Avalos has been given her problems bringing it up the floor. And we'll have a shot. No good. Whistle and foul. That'll be team foul number two on the Aces, and I think that that might have been on Avalos. They don't put up the players' numbers like they do over in the main gym here in the auxiliary gym, but that's okay. Schnipke at the line to shoot two. First one, good. She'll have one more. That one in and out, no good. It'll stay a two-point game, 9-7. Baldwin gets the ball to Mull. Mull driving it in, gets it back. Freese from three-point land, no good. Rebound comes down to Miller. Miller will toss it to Schnipke, and will come back the other way with the Lady Bulldogs. Schnipke drives the baseline, puts it up partially blocked, no good. And it'll be out of bounds, last touched by Defiance. Ace's ball. Inbounds to Baldwin. Five minutes to go in the first half. Baldwin again drives down to the corner. Gets it to Avalos. Avalos, top of the key from the free throw line. Puts it up off the glass and good. And they need somebody to inbounds the ball quickly. And they get it in. Crawford had to go the length of the floor to be able to do the inbounds. She's got the ball now from Schnipke. Quick handoff. And that's to Mancera. And that'll be tied up with Baldwin. That'll be a jump ball. And that will stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Crawford. Gets the ball into Schnipke. Schnipke back to Crawford. 
Crawford looking things over back to Schnipke. She'll take a three-point shot off the back of the iron and no good. Mole saves it, gets it in to Hansen, and Hansen's going to get tied out by Crawford, and that'll be another jump ball, and that one will go to the Lady Aces. Quick substitution into the game now for Defiance, number 23, Mackenzie Reyes. Again, not a lot of substitution that is going to happen on the Aces squad as they only have six players total. Baldwin to Avalos. Avalos again to the, whoop, that one's, <laughs> her, her pass to Freese goes right between Sophie's legs and rolls out of bounds, so it'll be a turnover to the Lady Bulldogs. 3.48 to go in the first half. And the Lady Aces leading 11 to 7 here in the seventh grade girls basketball game. Bounce pass, that's to Crawford. Crawford back to Schnipke. Schnipke drives in, puts it up, no good. And it's saved on the baseline. Back to Schnipke. Schnipke's going to try it again, another hook shot, and that one's good. Haley Schnipke, she's got five points tonight now. Makes it an 11-9 game and again cuts the Lady Aces lead to only two. Baldwin to Mull. Mull right to the hoop, up off glass, no good, a little too much on it. Crawford gets the rebound to Schnipke and will come back the other way. Here, come, here comes Defiance with a chance to tie. Avalos almost knocks it loose. Bounce pass. That was to uh, Reyes. Reyes gets it back, and Schnipke is going to take another shot from the corner. No good. Here comes Baldwin with the breakaway off the rebound. Lays it up and in. Jocelyn Baldwin, she's got six now, and she makes it a 13-9 game and puts the Aces lead back up to four. Schnipke, and she gets the three-second call, so it'll be a turnover to the Lady Aces with two minutes and 11 seconds to go before halftime. Freese will get ready, and she'll get the ball in to Baldwin. Baldwin. Quickly down the floor, and she'll run to the baseline. Puts up the hook shot, no good. Rebound to Schnipke. Schnipke goes in, puts up a shot, partially blocked. Mull grabs it. She'll drop down to Baldwin. Baldwin all alone, up off glass, no good. Misses the easy layup. Come back the other way with Schnipke. Avalos trailing her all the way down into the corner. Back out to the top of the key, drives into the paint, puts it up, and gets the bounce. Seven for Schnipke now. Back to a two-point lead, 13 to 11. Baldwin. Baldwin gets run into, and that'll be a foul on number 25, Addison Miller. That'll be team foul number four now on the Lady Bulldogs. And it'll be Aces ball out of bounds. With a minute 22 left in the half. Freese will get ready to handle the inbound chores. Gets it into Baldwin. Baldwin in the corner. Gets it out. Drives toward the paint. Nothing there. A little pass to Mull. Mull puts it up and puts it in. Six points now for Devaney Mull. And timeout on the floor. So our first time out of the game is called by the Lady Bulldogs as they trail by four here, 15 to 11 in the second quarter, a minute and eight seconds away from halftime. Again, this is the first of uh, two live streams that we have for you here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel this afternoon as we are covering the 7th and 8th grade girls. So we'll finish this one up. 
take a quick break, and Brian and I will be back with our second live stream, which will be the eighth grade contest. Glad to have you with us. As again, we put Thanksgiving in the rearview mirror and get ready to head into the month of December. Hard to believe, but yeah, Thursday is December 1st already. So the buzzer will sound, and the teams will get ready to break huddle and come back out onto the floor. And there we go, Lady Aces and the Lady Bulldogs both break huddle. It'll be Defiance's ball on the baseline. Crawford get ready, will get ready to inbounds it to Schnipke. She does. We're underway. Off of her foot and right into the hands of Sophie Fries. Fries then runs into some trouble. Ball loose on the floor and it's picked up and grabbed by Miller. Down the floor quickly. And into some trouble in the corner, and the ball rolls through the doorway out into the hall. That'll be out of bounds, last touched by Hicksville, so possession will stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Crawford will get ready to inbounds once again. And looking, and there's nobody there, but they were able to track it down. That was a good play by Roth as she... Got to the ball and got it under control before it rolled out of bounds. Schnipke from the wing puts it up and no good. Freese with the rebound. 23 seconds and counting. Aces can hold it here for the last shot before halftime. Mull driving. Kicks it back out to Baldwin with 12. Baldwin into the paint. Up, no good. Rebound comes down to Miller. Miller gets it to Schnipke with five. Schnipke, long three off the back of the iron. No good. Freese with the rebound, and that is the end of the first half. The second quarter wraps up, and we've reached halftime. And at the half, it's the homestanding Lady Aces leading the visiting Defiance Bulldogs in this seventh grade girls basketball game, 15-11. The halftime score. We're down to about a minute, 20 seconds before the second half gets underway. Let's take a look at some unofficial scoring from the first half of action. Again, here at halftime, it's the homestanding Lady Aces leading the Lady Bulldogs, 15-11 to 11 at the intermission. Uh, the uh, 11 points for Defiance are courtesy of just two players. Uh, Am Amia Crawford had two buckets in the first half for four points, and uh, Haley Schnipke... Uh, led the way for the Lady Aces, or for the Lady Bulldogs, and actually she led all scorers in the first half. Uh, Haley had three buckets and a free throw for seven points overall. So her seven and Crawford's four account for the 11 points on the scoreboard right now for Defiance. On the Aces side, uh, a little more balanced scoring. Sophie Fries had a free throw in the first half for one point, and uh, Avalos had a bucket for two. After that, it's uh, Jocelyn Baldwin with three field goals for six points, and Devity Mull had two free field goals and two free throws for six as well. So six for Mull, six for Baldwin, two for Avalos, and one for Fries for the Lady Aces, 15 points. They'll sound the horn, and the teams will get ready to head back out onto the floor, and we'll get ready to get the second half underway here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. 
Bill and Brian, we're glad to have you with us as we're coming to you live from the Auxiliary Gymnasium. Again, it's 7th grade girls basketball action right here on Hicks TV. Lady Bulldogs with the basketball to start half number two. It'll be Crawford getting ready to do the inbound. Schnipke standing by to get the ball. Six minutes on the scoreboard clock, and we're underway. Schnipke, her team down by four, looking things over. On the wing to Crawford. Crawford will pull the trigger. It's good. Be a long two to make it 13-15. Baldwin looks to answer, puts it high off the glass, no good. And we're going to have a jump ball between Mull and Miller. And the possession arrow should go. Yep, it goes to the Lady Aces. They'll have the ball. Freeze. Into Baldwin. She'll pull the trigger right away. In and out, no good. Mull with the put back, and that goes down. Mull makes it a 17-13 game. Here come the Lady Bulldogs. Crawford down into the corner, looking for some help. Bounce pass back to Schnipke. Back to Crawford again from the wing. That one's no good, and that'll go out of bounds. Last touched by Defiance. Aces get the ball back, and Freese gets it inbounds to Baldwin. Baldwin working through traffic down to the corner, and that's going to be a jump ball. Okay, I was waiting to see what the indication was going to be. Crawford and Mull, and that'll go. It will be Defiance's ball when we come out of this timeout, but the uh, Lady Aces call a timeout here. Very early on, a minute and four seconds into the third quarter. So somebody saw something they didn't like. Quick 30-second timeout. <laughs> Teams will get ready to break huddle. And again, it'll be Defiance's basketball out of bounds when play resumes. And they'll get it into Schnipke. Schnipke across half court. On the wing, Crawford puts it up. No good. Avalos grabs the rebound. She'll get it over to Mull. Mull. Mull's going to go straight to the bucket. And that's going to be a foul on Defiance, a blocking foul, okay. So out of bounds, team foul number one for Defiance and out of bounds to the Lady Aces. Freese long inbounds to Mull, Mull for three. Got it, oh my. Mull dials up long distance and makes it a seven point game, 20 to 13. Schnipke goes to answer, and she does. They trade threes. Now it's 2016, and the lead down to four. Baldwin now. Working around the corner. Holds up to Mull. Mull from three point land again, and she gets it again. Back to back threes. And here comes Schnipke. Lightning going to strike twice? Nope, she'll go to Crawford. Crawford for three, and that's good. Oh, that's going to be a long two. Her foot was on the line, so it's 23-18, a five-point lead for Hicksville. Mole. Mole, this time going to drive down towards the baseline. Nothing there. 
Turn around, she'll put it up anyway. That's will be short and out of bounds. And that should stay with the Lady Aces. Yep, off of one of the defenders from Defiance. 3.28 to go here in quarter number three. Aces with the inbounds coming up. Quick substitution as Walls will come out and into the game for Defiance's Lawton. Reese bounce pass to Baldwin. Baldwin. Freeze. Freeze steps over the half court line. It's over and back. Back to the Lady Bulldogs into Schnipke. Schnipke. Top of the key, she's going to launch from three-point land. This one's no good. Lawton goes for the rebound, no good. Avalos tracks it down. She's triple teamed, now double teamed. And it's going to be a jump ball. And that will go to Defiance. Avalos had a double team in front of her and the sideline behind her. And she was battling to maintain control of the ball. So Aces keep possession with the arrow. Mull, bounce pass and stolen away. Crawford, Crawford traveled, tried to pull up and stop and did that little hop, dragged one leg, pivot foot. So another turnover. And they're going to alter things around. This time the inbounds will come to Mull. She'll take it across half court. And she's going to unload for top of the key off the back of the iron. No good. Knocked in bounds. Nope, she stepped on. And it'll be Defiance on the baseline. Almost got it, but stepped on the, stepped on the end line. So Reyes will get ready to inbounds to Schnipke. Schnipke. Back to Reyes. Reyes from just inside the arc, partially blocked. Baldwin grabs, or excuse me, Hansen grabs it for the aces and tosses it to Mull. Mull into the paint, puts up the runner, and it's good. Mull makes it a 25-18 game. Long shot from the wing. That went off the right. No good. Put back up by Lawton is no good. Mull comes up with it. Mull down the floor to Baldwin. Baldwin up off glass and good. Oh, my. That's her first bucket of the second half, but acrobatic move to make it 27 to 18. Nine-point lead now for the Lady Aces and timeout on the floor from Defiance. Well, during this timeout, we got some time. So we can say a big thank you to our Platinum Level Underwriting supporter. They underwrite and help support all of our operations here at Hicksville Community Television, all of our programming, all of our other events across all of our platforms, and that is Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio, located on Industrial Drive. You can find out more about the many solutions they have for business and industry by checking them out online at www.arcsolinc.com. We want to thank them so very much for their support in 2022. Danny Vetter and the whole gang, our platinum level underwriter, Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Again, online at www.arcsolinc.com. Inbounds to Schnipke. As play resumes, under two minutes to go here in quarter number three. Lawton on the wing. Lawton back to Schnipke. Schnipke thought about it, and then she'll get it back to Lawton. Lawton drives into the paint, turn around. It's knocked out of her hands, and Hansen comes up with it. She'll get it over to Mull, and Mull brings it up the floor for the Lady Aces. Mull to Baldwin, top of the key. Baldwin just inside the three-point arc, and it gets the roll. Bounced around there and finally decided, yeah, we'll go through the cylinder. 29-18, it's 11-point lead now for the Lady Aces. Schnipke, guarded by Avalos. She'll toss it over 
to Roth. Her shot up is good for three. Roth hits the three. That's her first bucket of the night. And automatically another timeout called by the Defiance Bulldogs as they close the gap to eight. We still have a whole quarter to go, so 111 left in the third. It's 29-21, Lady Aces, here in this seventh grade girls basketball contest. Bill and Brian, glad to have you with us. Again, hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Michigan fans did. Lions fans, not so much. Bears fans, I know a Bears fan. Yeah, they, they kind of took it on the chin, too. And we have a friend, we have a mutual friend who's a, a Colts fan, too. So we'll see how they do tonight in the Monday night game. See if we're going to have one of those weekends where we're 0 for 3. <laughs> Nobody's team wins. Oh, well. And for those of you who, you know, on Thanksgiving could care less about football, hope you enjoyed, like, the parade. or the, They had the dog show, too. They had the big dog show. Yeah, yeah the, the – um, it was it was an English bulldog that won, didn't it? it was, I think it was the first time that that, that, that breed ever won best in show or whatever. So back to basketball. Aces with the ball. Mull, top of the key. Thought about pulling the trigger, didn't. Gets it to Freeze. Freeze will put it up from the wing. No good. And saved, but it'll just roll out of bounds. That'll be Ace's ball down in the corner. In the game now for Hicksville, by the way, number 32. That's uh, Gabrielle Neal. Freeze to Baldwin. Baldwin puts it up. Off the iron and no good, and that's going to roll out of bounds, and that should be Defiance's ball. Walls. Gets it in the Schnipke. Under a minute to go here in quarter number three. Schnipke. Avalos giving her problems. And now Baldwin takes over. Tries to muscle it down. Pass, pass along the baseline up and good. For Addison Miller. As the Lady Bulldogs are starting to spread the scoring around a little bit. Mull takes it to the hoop, in and out, no good. Freese with the putback, no good. Freese still battling underneath. And we're going to have a travel on Sophie Freese. Shifted her legs a little bit. It's hard not to do that, though, when you're getting bounced around by other players underneath the bucket like that. But still, it's a turnover to the Lady Bulldogs with 15 seconds. Reyes back to Schnipke. Schnipke down to six. Schnipke puts it up, blocked. Baldwin grabs it. Baldwin trying to beat the buzzer. Puts it up, no good. She got down there in time, but it wouldn't drop. So we've come to the end of the third quarter. It's the Aces leading the Lady Bulldogs by six, 29 to 23. And we want to say another thank you here between third and fourth quarters. To another one of our diamond level underwriting supporters covering again uh, underwriting all of our aces sports coverage and that's the hicksville pharmacy your good neighbor pharmacy located right in the heart of downtown hicksville ohio a full pharmacy for you and your family's pharmaceutical needs also medical equipment and supplies over-the-counter medications sundries and more if you want to stop in for they have greeting cards they have uh, candles <coughs> ohio state and michigan memorabilia it's a great place to go shop. They want to thank everybody who did come out and help support local businesses on Small Business Saturday. And remember, you can continue doing that all month long. And if you like information on a COVID booster, flu shot, or anything along those lines, feel free to give them a call. 419-542-6218. Want to thank them so much again for their diamond-level underwriting support of all of our Aces Sports broadcasts here on Hicks TV. The Hicksville Pharmacy. Your good neighbor pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. Six minutes on the clock. The Lady Bulldogs will have the ball to start quarter number four. They're down by six. 
A lot of time and a lot of basketball to be played, though. Schnipke on to the wing to Crawford. Back to Schnipke. Schnipke spin move, puts it up, and no good. And Hansen gets it underneath the hoop, gets it to Baldwin. Baldwin will let her team catch up to her. Mull from the three-point arc. Boom! That's three threes for Devaney Mull. 32-23 now. Schnipke. Schnipke to, that's Merrill at number 35, and Schnipke will put up the runner, no good. And again, Mull with the board. Mull quickly down the floor, bounce pass to Baldwin, who puts it up off glass and no good, but she's going to be fouled. That's going to be two shots for Jocelyn Baldwin. And that's team foul number two. There have been very few fouls in this basketball game. No team fouls in the second half on the Aces and only two on the Lady Bulldogs. Baldwin at the line. And gets the first one. It's 11 points now for Baldwin. Into the game for Defiance is Roth as Reyes will have a seat. Baldwin gets them both. Walls watching her feet this time. He gets the inbounds into Schnipke. Just inside, long shot off the iron, no good. Avalos grabs the board, gets it to Mull. Mull cross half court. Mull spin move, pulls up. And hits it. That's, I've got unofficially, well, I, I, I won't say. Shot up, and that's no good off the front of the iron. Down to Baldwin. Baldwin up off glass and good. Count it, and I think she's going to go to the line. That'll be team foul number three on the Lady Bulldogs. They'll shuffle around their personnel. Crawford comes back into the game. Merrillat will step out. And one shot for Baldwin. And that one's no good. Ball loose on the floor. And that's going to be a jump ball, and that should stay with the Aces. So a jump ball on the rebound from the free throw. Uh, Lady Aces get it on the possession arrow. Four minutes, 32 seconds. Mull gets the inbounds, puts it up and down. It's good for Mull, and I have her run officially now 23 points. Schnipke. Schnipke working hard, getting down to the baseline. Throws it back out. Crawford gets it back to Schnipke. Schnipke. Thought about it, and then she'll head in the baseline, puts up the runner, no good. And that'll be off the hands of Mull, out of bounds. And it'll stay with the Lady Bulldogs. 4.07 to go, Ace is up 40-23 to 23 here. Schnipke, and dribbles it out of bounds. She's a little frustrated with herself. 4.06 to go. As both teams will drop back to the other half of the court. Mull will bring it up slowly. Miller comes out to defend against Mull. She gets it to Avalos. Avalos under the hoop puts up the runner. No good. It goes right over the right over the iron. No good. Schnipke better watch out as Fries was honing in on her from behind and. The ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Crawford inbounds to Schnipke. Schnipke looking for something right on the three-point arc. Crawford top of the key from three is good. Crawford hits the three ball. That's the third Lady Bulldog to 
sink a three here this afternoon. Mull drives baseline, nothing there. Bounce pass to Baldwin. Baldwin from three-point land off the glass and no good. Crawford with the rebound, quickly up the floor. She'll hold up for the rest of her team, gets it to Schnipke. Schnipke drives baseline. Her ball is partially deflected on the pass. Attempt right into Freese's hand. She gets it to Mull. Mull to Baldwin. Baldwin pull up jumper off the iron. No good. Avalos with the board. She'll get it to Mull. Mull drives in. Mull puts up the runner and good. Schnipke, 241 left in the game. Roth moving around towards the baseline. Nothing there. Bounce pass. Bounce pass to Miller. Miller puts it up. No good. And that'll be a travel as Mull got the ball. And Baldwin was right there, too. Anyway, Mull had to fall, was falling backwards and took a couple steps trying to regain her balance. And so she travels, and Crawford will inbounds for Defiance. Quick inbounds to Schnipke, who puts it up. No good. Mull with the rebound. This time she keeps her feet. Long pass down. And that'll be out of bounds. We'll see who they say touched it last. They're going to say last touched by Baldwin. So it'll be Defiance ball. 2.19 to go. Again, Lady Aces up 42 to 26. Seventh grade girls. Basketball action here from the auxiliary gym. Crawford a long three. And it's going to be an air ball. And they'll just let it go out of bounds. So that'll go back to the Aces with 2.09 to go. And timeout called from the Hicksville bench. Two oh nine left in regulation here. Aces up 42 to 26. Again, a reminder, this is the first of two live streams that we're going to have for you here on the Hicksville Community Television or the Hicks TV YouTube channel on this Monday. When uh, we uh, finish this game, we'll do a quick post-game wrap-up, and we'll shut down the live stream and probably take about a, uh, somewhere between a 5- and 10-minute break, I'm guessing. And then we'll be back with our second live stream, which will be the 8th grade matchup between these two schools. So you can join us for yet more basketball action this afternoon here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Or, of course, if you're... Watching this later, just on Hicksville Community Television, whether you're watching the rebroadcasts on SMTA Channel 8 or Mediacom Channel 12 or video on demand on YouTube, whatever the case may be. Aces get the ball inbounds, and we're back underway. Baldwin. Bounce pass to Mull. Mull being guarded by Miller. Mull. Nothing there. Gets it back to Baldwin. Mull from three-point land. That one is, and Freese couldn't get to it in time. It'll go out of bounds with a minute 46. Defiance will get the ball back. Walls inbounds to Schnipke. Ball loose on the floor. Schnipke comes up with it from three-point land, and it's good. Schnipke makes it a 42-29 game with 90 seconds left to go. Baldwin drives down, puts it up, no good, gets her own rebound. She'll put it up again. That one, she gets bumped from behind. Schnipke winds up with it for the Lady Bulldogs. She'll throw it down the floor. Slapped away, but right into Schnipke's hands. And she'll put it up on the runner off the glass high and good. Eight points now for Schnipke in the second half to go with seven in the first. 42 to 31, still an 11 point lead for the Lady Aces with under a minute to go. Mull puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Crawford. Crawford gets it to Schnipke. Schnipke comes up the floor. Schnipke down into the corner, shot up, and that's good. That was, uh, I believe, Miller. Yeah, Addison Miller with the bucket to make it 42-33. to 
Baldwin, bounce pass. Mull up off glass, no good. Freese with the putback, no good. And then Mull with the putback, and they're still battling for it. Mull gets it again. She'll take it out with 12 seconds. Mull with seven. Mull with four. She can just hold the ball here. Gets it to Baldwin, and that's the ball game. So your final score in the uh, girls' seventh grade game here at the Auxiliary Gym tonight is the uh, Hicksville Lady Aces, 42, and the Defiance Lady Bulldogs, 33. And I will... Get some unofficial scoring around for you here shortly. All right. So your unofficial scoring in the game, uh, let's begin with the uh, Defiance Lady Bulldogs. Uh, again, they were on the short end of the scoreboard, 42-39. to 39. Uh, They had uh, Addison Roth with a three-pointer in the second half for three points, and Addison Miller added a couple of buckets in the second half for four. After that, well, uh, Amia Crawford uh, had four in the first half, and she added seven more in the second half to finish up unofficially with 11 points overall and leading the Defiance Lady Bulldogs in scoring. Haley Schnipke, she had seven in the first half, and then she added two threes and a bucket for two in the second half to finish up unofficially with 15 points on the evening. On the Lady Bulldogs, our Lady Aces side, again, Sophie Fries had a, few, a, few, a free throw and one point, and Avalos had a bucket for two. Jocelyn Baldwin, six points in the first half, and she added eight more in the second half to finish unofficially with 14. And leading all scorers tonight was Devaney Mull. Mull had six in the first half, and then she had, let's see, three threes and one, two, three, four, five two-pointers in the second half to finish up unofficially with 25 points to lead all scorers here tonight. So with that, uh, we're going to uh, wrap things up. Uh, again, we want to say a big thank you to all of our underwriters making our coverage possible. Our platinum-level underwriter, and that, of course, is uh, Arc Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. Our three diamond-level underwriting supporters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. APT Manufacturing Solutions Incorporated of Hicksville, Ohio. And the Hicksville Pharmacy, located right in the heart of downtown Hicksville, Ohio. And our gold level underwriting supporter, Subway of Hicksville, proud supporters of the Subway Player of the Game Award that we give out after every varsity contest we cover here on Hicks TV. Thanks to all of them. Thanks to the Junior High Athletic Department for allowing us to be here. And thanks to all of you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the coverage this afternoon. So with that, we're going to wrap up the uh, live stream. Brian and I are going to be back, it looks like, probably in about seven minutes or so from right now with our second live stream of the afternoon. But until then, one last time, final score in the seventh grade game. Lady Aces win it 42-33. And for Brian Williams operating the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television wishing you a good afternoon and good sports. <laughs>